I'm Rich Tuck and I'm the owner of the wall tent shop. Today we're going to show you how to set up our Stelkert spike tent. To speed up time, we've already put the, the guy ropes on their stakes and also assembled some of the poles and got our, our bottoms poles in also for our side poles. So guys, just come on in and give us a hand helping put up the tent. The first thing you do in setting up the tent is the four corners. We've already got the, the stakes in on the four corners already, but now we're just gonna put the four corners in and get them tight. And you probably remember Hondo the guard dog from other videos we've done. So we're gonna get the four corners, stakes in, get them very tight. And you can see they're adjusting the tightness of the rope with the tensioners. 200 feet of rope and tensioners come with the tent. Okay, let's go inside now. What we're doing next is setting up the inside poles. You have a center pole, a little over eight feet, and then you have a door pole on each end that's a little over six feet. That way you don't have to bend down while you're getting in a tent. Some spike tents don't have that feature, but I like the two door poles, it just gives you a lot more usable area. It makes it easier to get inside the tent and outside the tent. After you get the three interior poles in, now you start tightening all the guy ropes along the side of your tent and also your end ropes on each end. I always recommend that you have this end rope tight on each end. It just makes your roof that much tauter. What we're going to do is show you just a general idea how to set it up now. Then we have a, the rest of the video later we'll be showing you in detail how we do each specific step. Now on the tent you'll notice that we've got lots of side poles. Most, of, most other tents don't have this many side poles. On a 10 by 10 you will have a total of five on each side. On a 12 by 12 you'll have six on each side. And a 14 by 14, you'll have seven on each side. And again, it's very important to keep these rows tight. You will see the top of the side poles goes through the grommet, but the actual tying of the guy rope goes to these D rings. It's a much better system. Okay, now what's different between this tent and other tents that you see on the market? is this roof line. You don't see other tents which, which have a door on each end. Uh, another major factor on our on our the front of our uh, spike tents is we've got a zipper here, an inverted T, which makes it totally bug proof, snake proof, farmer proof when you shut down the tent. Okay, we set up our spike tent in very general terms. Now we're gonna show some of the specifics. Notice the top of the side pole goes through the grommet. The rope for the eaves goes through the D-rings and is tied very securely to a D-ring. At the bottom, we have a small stake that you can get at any hardware store or Walmart. That small stake, it keeps this side pole in position. And you just slide it over like that. And then on this type of stake, you can bring down the loop we have here and, and fasten it underneath that lip. But for, for speed, we're gonna just not do that and go our next step. Now, we have what we call our tensioners. This is a double T stake. Always put your guy ropes on the bottom of that double T and you just pull on the rope and slide it forward and the tension keeps it there. But notice how it's set up on, the, on this. It goes like a loop, like this when you set it up. Make it look just like that, and you put it through the bottom, and it just slides up like this, and it gets a very tight rope very quickly. And you do that along all the uh, side poles, and you can see that all of our stakes are at about a 30 to 45 degree angle, so your rope pulls against the ground and the stake. Next thing I want to show you is our end ropes. It's very important that you have your tent set up 
with these end ropes. This tightens your ridge on each end, and again, you just go over grommet, and here's your tent on top. Then you have your nylon, black nylon webbing there, and then you just put the rope through it and tighten it down. This is what keeps your tent from blowing away. Now on the inside, we'll show you our center pole and our door poles. So come on in. Okay, what I'm going to do now is talk about our center poles. Our center poles are made of very thick aluminum. The walls are quite thick. And our door poles are three pieces. Three pieces here. And if you put those over your knee, you couldn't bend them. Now, on the center pole, this is made out of four sections of pipe. And again, our top is eight foot three. And if you try to put this and break it or bend it, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible if you want to do this with your knee. And the last one is the other door pole. I like to have tents that have a door on each end. Especially important when you have a sewn-in floor because if something happens in here and you have to get out quickly, you want to have an, in, an exit on each end of the tent. Uh, we've gone through the procedure of setting up the tent today. If you have any questions about how we set it up, give us a call. We're always here. Our number is 1-800-234-1150.